update regarding the 2425 FAFSA. Hey everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. The federal government just released an announcement indicating that the 2425 FAFSA will be released by December 31st. Now, this is much later than we initially thought. It was originally announced it was going to be released by December 1st, but there's a big overhaul going on with the FAFSA and lots of changes happening. So the announcement said by the end of December, it will be available for families to complete. Another big update is that ICERs will not be sent to the financial aid offices until late January. Now, ICERs are the electronic reports generated by the government when they process a student's FAFSA, and that ICER is then sent to college financial aid offices, and that's what they use to put together financial aid packages. So because they're not going to receive those ICERs until late January, that means they cannot start putting together financial aid awards until then. So the first financial aid offers will probably come out sometime in February, only for early action and early decision students. Now, normally those offers come out in mid-December, but with the delay of the FAFSA, it's pushing that timing off a little bit. For students that are applying regular admission, those financial aid offers will be processed probably late March or April before you're going to find out how much you're going to receive in financial aid. It's a really strange year because normally the FAFSA opens up on October 1st for families to fill out. And I know many people have been anxiously awaiting to hear when the 24-25 FAFSA is going to open. So it's really important that you get the FAFSA filled out early. Keep in mind when this first launches, especially given the overhaul that is taken place, it's probably going to be very glitchy for the first week. So don't worry about logging in the very first day that it opens. I would give it a few days or a week before even logging into the site and attempting to fill it out. Another update regarding this FAFSA is that it's going to range anywhere from 18 questions to 50 questions, depending on a student and family circumstances and, and how simple their situation is or how complicated it is. The government even said that students may be able to complete it in as little as 10 minutes. Now, of course, this is only going to apply to very simple situations, but the good news is the FAFSA is no longer going to be 108 questions. It is going to be much easier and more streamlined for families to fill out. Now, keep in mind, the government said that it would be released by December 31st. So this means that it could be released earlier in the month However, I don't think that's going to be the case. It'll probably be opening up right down to the wire on December 31st. And I know it's going to be crazy with holidays and everything, but again, it's super important that you get the FAFSA filled out early. And if you're feeling stressed about the financial aid process or overwhelmed, or maybe this is your first time navigating it and you're looking for some assistance, I do offer several different options to work with me that can kind of help guide you through it. The first is a new option that I just started this year called a 30-day financial aid boot camp. It launches December 10th, 2023, and it's going to give you access to a private Facebook group where you can ask unlimited questions of me for 30 days, whatever those financial aid questions might be. It also includes a live weekly webinar with a Q&A session, and we're going to cover a number of topics such as helping you understand what types of financial aid are out there and available, how to effectively search for and find scholarships. We're gonna go over common FAFSA and CSS profile mistakes. We're gonna talk about appealing your financial aid offers and how to write an effective appeal letter. We're also gonna talk about closing the financial aid gap and different loan options that are available and what happens after you fill out a FAFSA and what your final steps are in the process to ensure that everything is in place. So that's my 30-day boot camp. It launches December 10th. If you come across this video after that 30 days, I am going to turn it into a digital course for you to access if you're looking for a shorter term uh, financial aid training. Then my signature program is available for anybody watching this that is the parent of a high school senior. And enrollment is still open for a little bit longer. It launched in September, it runs through May, and this is intended to take a deep dive into the financial aid process with you. Every 
every month on the first of the month, I release new content into this academy for you to access in the forms of tutorials, short webinars, videos, PDF documents, and things like that. And I upload 20 to 50 scholarship resources that high school seniors can apply for each and every month. Now, scholarship searching is really tedious, so I'm curating these and I'm looking for scholarships that tend to not be as competitive as others. So the Financial Aid Academy will give you access to this digital course and the scholarships along with a live monthly webinar and Q&A session going over what you should be focused on for that particular month. And each month there's a different topic. There's three different levels of service to choose from in the Academy. The two higher levels include unlimited access to me through May for any and all financial aid questions that you might have and membership in a private Facebook group where you can also ask questions. And then the highest level of service not only includes access to all of that, but two hours of Zoom consultation time with me. So this is my most comprehensive offering that builds all my financial aid courses into one, appealing financial aid offers, scholarships, um, FAFSA, CSS profile information, loan information. There's a, there's a ton of information in the Financial Aid Academy. You can sign up for this by going to my website, thefafsaguru.com and clicking on Financial Aid Academy at the top of my page. And a reminder, enrollment is going to be open through December for parents of high school graduates for the class of 2024. And early bird registration for parents of class of 2025 high school graduates will be open in January after the holidays. And then lastly, I do offer Zoom or phone consultation calls for whatever you might need help with related to the financial aid process. I just require a 30 minute minimum and I offer a free initial 10 minute call to anybody that I've never worked with before, whether you just have general financial aid questions or you want to learn more about the programs and services that I provide. So stay tuned, the 24-25 FAFSA will be released soon. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel.